Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley B. Deck. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I went with this chocolate brown color for a hair tutorial and I think you guys are gonna love it. I did a wig install maybe like a month ago and the hair was chocolate brown like this and you guys were like that's your color so I've definitely been gravitating and listening to you guys. Today we're going with a I don't know if this is considered a lob like a long bob or if it's just considered just regular length hair. I consider it a lob but not really. It is a 14 inch cut and I love how it sits on me. It gives very much like office vibes like I'm supposed to be on my like Hillary Banks vibes I don't know I really like it in the in the color and the cut is just chef's kiss so this one does come courtesy of Ara Bella hair they sent this beauty to me and I went ahead and installed her I did add just a bit of layer in the front and this kind of channels that 90s vibe where even with the shorter cut you still add that little layer and you bump it a little bit tight. I love the way this one is looking on me. I did go for a little baby, bit of baby hair, but you guys are going to see what it looks like without the baby hair for those of you who are not interested in baby hair. Again, this color, this chocolate brown is amazing for the brown girls. It gives us a nice little bit of fun without going, you know, too extreme. It's work safe, no makeup safe, vacation safe all of the above and of course I have it linked in the description box so if you want to see how I installed and I styled and I got this whole look together keep on watching okay babies jumping right into it this is the wig straight out of the box we are rocking a chestnut dark brown colored lace wig this is the look at the inside construction of the cap and you already know it does come with an elastic band excuse my wig cap it is time to replace her but I you know just gotta rock it till the wheels fall off till it fall apart no matter how many I have so we're going to anchor the wig on with that elastic band and then we're going to go ahead and put the wig on top. This one is absolutely gorgeous. She comes in a body wave texture or a straight. I did opt for the straight option. And then you can also get about five different lace cap constructions. 4x4, 5x5, 13x4, 13x6 or a 360 lace wig. So you can definitely customize your cap to your preference and I think that a closure definitely is a great option for glueless. Here I am just cutting off the excess lace. Be sure to secure the lace around the ears, making sure that any excess lace that covers the ears is removed before you install because you don't want your wig sitting on your head like a hat and just like hanging out on top of your ears. That just doesn't make sense to me. Now I kind of wanted to do like a side flip over feather situation, but in the end I did opt for a center part. And you guys can see it's nice and full. So I did use it a dynamic duo to go ahead and snap out that parting. The wax stick does a great job at holding down any flyaways and just taming the hair really nicely. And paired with the heat from the electric hot comb, it definitely is a match made in heaven. You can definitely part this one any way you want. As you guys did see, this cap is a free part. So that pretty much means that you will be able to kind of do like a side, a side part, a C part, a curve part, L part, whatever part you like you can do. You can even do things like two ponytails up top. Um, you know, you can definitely be creative to get your money's worth and just, you know, style it up as you, you know, rock your unit. So you guys can see that dynamic duo made a huge transformation. Everything is flat as far as the lace goes. So here we're going to go ahead and use our bevelist to make the ends match. Now, I didn't add any product to the ends, but you can definitely add a little bit of a heat protectant to the entire wig. And that definitely will help to preserve your wig. I always feel like a heat protectant does kind of help to like give the wig a little bit more style I don't know what it is about a heat protectant it's like I don't know if it's meant to but like it gives it a little bit of shine and gives it a little bit of weight if it's a little bit too frizzy but again I did not use any product I'm just going in and just sectioning the hair in larger sections and trying to get it as straight as possible and you guys can see I kind of like flick the wrist with the flat iron and make sure to like curve it and this is going to help to just give the wig a little bit of body because we don't want it too straight now in the front did do something a little bit wonky on me where like no matter how many times I tried to like get it like that perfect swoop or perfect curve it kind of did a little bit of a weird bend thing on me so you guys can see I'm just adding a little bit of layer and taking a little bit of the length off will help it to not do that weird bend thing and that problem was definitely solved right there 
Now that we're done with that, I'm just going to go ahead and bump that because, again, adding a little curve or a little bump, as we like to call it, to it just will give it a little bit more body so it's not too flat and straight. And now I am going to bond it down. This is a frontal, but again, it does come as a closure option. The closure for sure will fit glueless. Even this one fit pretty glueless. It just felt like at the front of it, it had a little bit of like where it didn't lay down perfectly. So I did opt to bond it down. And this is going to give it a definitely a melted effect as well i did go for that bedhead hair uh what is it called like extra hold or extreme hold hairspray and this one definitely is not a glue but again it helps it to melt the lace down really nicely and i'll be able to take it down off at night with water and you know be good to go and reapply it the next day here I am adding baby hair. I think this one definitely is a little bit more classy without the baby hair. But you know, sometimes I'm a little bit ratchet. I added a little bit at the time. I wanted just a little bit of something there because, I don't know, it's just my preference. Um, You guys can definitely skip this step. And again, the no baby hair look is definitely a lot more classy. Like if you're going on a date, um, you know, if you have somewhere to be that's a little bit more bougie and upscale, I would definitely like send the baby hair back on those occasions. Um, And then when I just want to be myself... I will bring the baby hair back but again to each his own when it comes to the step i also recommend doing like the two swoops on the sides that way it's a little bit less in your face um here i am just going ahead and tinting the lace as well i'm using a foundation cream in the parting as well as the corresponding foundation powder along the hairline you can definitely use the melt belt on top of this to really let this set in and melt here i am just adding a little bit of height with a little waterfall effect at the front this is the perfect way or my favorite way to wear my straighter wigs overall the wig came out beautiful it is linked in the description box so we are done with the look let's go ahead and check out the packaging before i forget and this wall sometimes my chair hits it and it's like squeaky so i gotta remember not to let it squeak in my video but this one does come from arabella hair and as you guys can see it's a beautiful packaging so excited because they sent me not only one but two wigs and so you'll see this one uh next week i'm actually going to film, film that one now because that one is fire and i can't wait to wear that one as well um but this one here is a beautiful beautiful you guys said this was my color um i did a video with a chocolate brown wig um like last month you guys are that's like your color and i've been like feeling this color ever since as like ever since as like my signature color what Kids are home from, from summer. I'm ready for them to go back to school. I've been waiting for them to get off of summer because I needed a break from waking up early in the morning. But now I need to wake up early and get them to school. Anyways, this is the packaging from Arabella Hair. And here is the actual like goodie bag. And inside you do have a pack of wig caps, um, a pack of lashes, which lately I've been using like thinner band lashes just for a quick, easy, um, you know, look. And then here is the wig band or melt belt as I like to call it and then also you do get a blue baby hairbrush and last but not least they have one of these pearl clips at this point I should have like a collection of these because I have so many but you know it goes really cute especially if you'd like a side something you know really cute to decorate your unit technically this is a shortcut it's not a bob but for me because I'm so used to wearing long 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 hair I kind of consider it a bob but it's not like this is not a bob but to me it's a bob if that makes any sense let me know like i'm 5'3 so this is what it looks like on me obviously if you're like really 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 tall then it definitely will probably you know sit on you as a bob it was a very much an easy install and you guys kind of pretty much seen the entire process one thing that i was i did that i wasn't quite sure about um is i did add a little bit of layer here and i really didn't do too much here but i felt like because it was so long right here the way it sits on me it was kind of bending so it was going to get on my nerves because no matter how good you straighten or bump it because it had that too much length for the wig it kind of like did a funny bend and again no matter what I do it would have just remained that way so that was like an easy um you know customization for me I don't have any complaints about this one you guys already know Arabella hair is a great hair company they offer great quality hair and you guys also know that I work with this company um I've done quite a few reviews with them so I do have like a little mini library of a few you know like a handful of different like wigs that they offer you guys see how i added the layer um that they offer on their site 
that I've reviewed on this channel. So you guys can definitely check my channel for those different options. And you guys can see, you know, again, what they have to offer. Um, I'll have a direct link to this wig in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches.